Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ice Cold here with Astralisar 6, and we're going to show you why you're playing Oregon wrong. Today we're going to show you how to set up site and how to set up Oregon properly. Let's get straight into the video. Now going downstairs first, we are going to have to reinforce every single hatch that leads to basement. So that includes the laundry hatch, the freezer hatch, and the meeting hatch. Now next up, one of your shotgun players, either Mew, Frost, whoever you have, you're going to make the head holes and you're going to make rotate. So the first rotate you're going to make here is Bunker. Bunker leads into blue and you can put your shield down as well. Next up, we have the we have the laundry rotate and we have the laundry closet rotate as well. And then you want to make these freezer holes as well. The pillar single wall, you're going to open the top and the bottom of it for the feet holes and for the top head holes. And then you're going to open the e-box walls. Now, one of your shield players, you're going to put your shield in blue. You want to put it back a little bit so that you can put ADSs or Midas or Mute Jammers on it so that they can catch and they can protect your shield. Smoke likes to be combined with Mute as well, so you can put a Mute Jammer on the shield if you want to. Put it a little bit further into the blue hall, and you can put Mute Jammers so the fours can't get it. Next up, reinforcements-wise, we're going to get this bunker wall here to protect you from blue getting shot. We're going to reinforce off the closet laundry wall as well so you can't get shot from Freezer. And next up, we have the freezer wall and the e-box walls as well. Along with the three hatches, you have a total of seven, eight reinforcements down. People like to open the top of this e-box wall just so you can watch the back stairs and you can hold a little bit more. Now, people always ask me, Ice Cold, why do you put the top and the bottom holes on the single pillar wall? And I'm going to explain to you why. Now, basically, pillar is a very strong position when on organ when you have control of it. Now, putting these feet holes, they have to lay prone, and you'll be able to hear it, and you might get a free kill off of it. The top of these e-box walls, along with the single pillar wall, you can watch backstairs a little bit. However, if they do get the hatch open, you can always reinforce if you have an extra reinforcement in pocket, and you can play either Tarp Story or Harry Potter, and you might be able to get some free kills. Maybe be able to waste utility as well. Now, another spot that people don't talk about, a very powerful position, is in close to the blue door. Now, you can be very close, you can smoke off behind the barrels, and you may be able to get a free kill if they run back if you smoke to them. And you might be able to shoot Jim Jones as well and get rid of utility super early in the round. Now, I also stated earlier that I like to open the top of this rotate uh, just so you can throw smokes. It's a good position to hold, and you can waste time and utility with it. This single wall and closet will protect you from freezer as well, so you can get shot. And you can peek the handles, you might be able to get a free kill. It's kind of an off angle for the attackers to shoot. Now, your shield. If they somehow get rid of the bunker shield, or if they get rid of utilities such as ADSs, but they don't take a shield, pick up the shield and take it over. This is another good position into laundry. It takes a couple tries, but you get this really nice angle into the front side where you can hold it. I mean, look at that right there. You, someone's there, you can shoot them. Also, you can throw your smoke canisters over, and you can hold them. Laundry is a very common position as well. So getting that shield there puts a little bit more pressure on them. Now, ADS is going to be put down as well. Just protect the shield. Another very po very powerful position to put a shield is in the hallway, watching towards freezer. There's a couple good angles that you can hold. You can also smoke off, and you can hold if you need to. That's all for the long downstairs. This is the iconic spot, and I'm going to show you why it's called this. It's heating up. That's bad news for Astralis. There's still three kills for him to claim, but it's hyper to grab shot. Two remain for Astralis, but a shotgun at close oh, range. Iconic. Let him go in. No. Iconic, be patient. Be patient. What are you going to do? You know two no. are there, and he gets them both. There's only one remaining, and Astralis are in good shape. NJR and four K from Iconic. Next up, let's get into kids and games and how to hold it correctly. First off, we're going to make the attic rotate into pit. And we're going to open up the hatch towards meeting. Next up, we're going to reinforce both the attic walls. So they have to bring a hard breach here. They can't get a very, very powerful position on you. After this, we're going to go over and we're going to reinforce both the attic walls. Just so they can't get a line or a sight into your rotate or into pit so you can hold it correctly. Now, these are four reinforcements that you always have to have, and I definitely recommend it unless you're running a strap. Next up, we're going to open up the top of the attic wall just so you can throw utility out. So there's smoke canisters, goo mines, nitro cells especially. After this, we're going to reinforce off the game's walls. Please shoot that radio. It's very annoying, and it gives off a lot of sound, so there's no reason not to shoot it. 
Next up, we're going to make the white rotate. Now, the white rotate, you want, there's a couple different ways to do it, but this is how we're going to do it. We're going to make it a runnable rotate, and we're going to put a shotgun hole on the top as well, so you can throw your utility out. Very good angle that you should definitely make. Next up, the main window holes with a little, tiny little rotate. Open up the kitchen hatch as well. We're going to reinforce this big window wall, so you can't get shot on the door. Very, very useful reinforcement that you cannot forget whatsoever. I like to make these kitchen holes as well, just so you can watch in the dining. And then you want to shoot off all the glass on every single window, if possible, for upstairs. It takes about five SMG bullets, I think four or five for ARs. Make big window holes if you want to, I recommend those. And then we're going to make the bottom white holes as well, just to watch the bottom white come up. And then we're going to make this top white hole looking towards freezer stairs come up. Very good angle as well, no one really expects it. Again, please shoot off all glass on the windows, just so you can hear them. Also, I forgot to mention, but please reinforce off this kid's wall towards attic, unless you put the fields on the bottom, but I recommend reinforcing this off so you can get shot through trophy door. Now, the shield placement on kids in games is 50-50. There's two different places I like to put it. First of all, this kid's door. It's a very good position. They can need it, though, if you don't have ADSs, or they can need from below. However, this is a more safer spot in attic here. Took me a couple different tries, but you get this angle that's super nice, and you still hold off the door. Again, no one's perfect, so it took me a couple different tries to put down, but I finally got it. If you guys do want to see an attacker guide, me going over it, all the ops to bring on different maps, please let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys leave a like as well if you got this far. Most of the floor in games is soft, so I recommend shooting some holes and such like that. Like I said earlier, this is a very good way to get free kills over attic, is to make the top holes. Now, sometimes it gets stuck on the chandelier, but sometimes it doesn't. Nitro cells you could toss over, kill people in either trophy or master. It's happened to me tons of times before, and I definitely recommend using that to your advantage. Now, another hole that you should put is this master hole, just so you can get some early drones and cut off their drainage. Also, if you're going to extend, make sure you open the armory hatch. Now, this is all I really got for kids and games. So let's get straight into the meeting and kitchen bomb site for Oregon. Now, like I said, many different people play this differently with every single site. So starting off here, what you always want to reinforce is the split walls. There's no reason to not reinforce them, and you can get them down really early in the round. Like I said, different people play different ways, so my way is we're going to open up the e-box hatch. Next up, we're going to get the stage walls as well, just so they have to bring a breacher or some sort of hard breach device, just so they can't just get that advantage. Stage is a very powerful position that people can plant on. And that it's very hard to retake at some points. Next up, we're going to open up the hatch into kitchen because people are going to play above. You're going to get this kitchen wall as well just for the single so you can't have a line of sight. Then you're going to make a security jumpable rotate on both sides of security. Open up the hatch as well. And then you want to make these big window holes just so you can hold the jump in from below if someone's there. Again, open the hatch. Make a little rotate into security of the kitchen, and then kitchen into meeting. You want to make either a vaultable, or you want to make it a runnable rotate, or just a crouch rotate. It's your preference. However you want to play it is up to you, my friends. Again, communicate on what you want to do. I like roaming up top personally and having someone up there. Also, if you're going to roam up top and have the hatch open upstairs in attic, please reinforce off these attic walls to T2. It's very important so they can't get the angle and they can't shoot you. Again, they have to bring a breacher of some sort to try to contest you and to open up the wall. Different teams play differently. Both bomb sites are used to plant, so you can't really tell unless you see the push. Make these e-box holes from above on two tarps just so you can see if they run in early i it took me a couple tries here but make sure you make feet holes as well in the e-box to blue just so you can see if they come in early maybe you'll get a free pick also don't forget that this cabinet here is wall bangable and as well as the benches you can shoot straight through them so if you want to open them up and let's get straight into the last bomb site now meaning dining is another very valuable site that most people don't play however is a very underrated site in my opinion now for this strat, we're going to be playing above, and we're also going to be holding in the kitchen. No one really plays dying, so kitchen is a very good position to hold here. Starting off, we're going to reinforce off the two mini walls, and we're going to make a rotate into security. Then we're going to open up the hatch. We're going to make another security rotate into kitchen on the far side, but we're going to make it a jumpable one as well, just so they can't get that position super nice, easily. 
Now we're going to open up the kit chest as well, along with the kitchen single wall. You don't want to reinforce this because you can throw utility off of it and you can get sound info as well. You want to make it showers rotate on each side into the hallway and from dining. And you want to reinforce off this one shower wall as well, just so you can't get, you can't get wall banged from your back. You never should reinforce off this wall here, just so you can see if they're planning and you can watch from the door and use your utility as well. Next up, you want to make these feet holes on the left side in showers into small town. You want to reinforce the right just so you can get wall bang. These feet holes shall help you and you can hear them and you can see what they're pushing. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is where to put your shield. Your shield should go in the long haul a little bit back so there's ADSs and my disc catching the utility that's coming through. And you can also, the long haul is a very powerful position that you just don't want to give up. Use your smoke canisters to your ability and you can hold off. Now, playing upstairs and roaming as well with the hatch, you can get these really nice long angles where you can watch the plant. All you have to do is open up the top of this wall, such as I do, and you can watch the couch plant where most people plant. That's the default for dining. Now, like I said, as an attacker, to get in that couch position, it's kind of a death wish for you. You just have to be careful in what you're doing, but you can't really see the angle from above, so it's really a defender-sided one-way angle. Now, also, don't forget to reinforce these two small tower walls to dining just so they can't get that early advantage of getting a soft reacher to open it. And also, I want to talk about this flag spot plant right here. It's a very common spot as well. But if you hold showers in long haul, you should have no problem. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more from me or Astralis, please let us know in the comments section below. I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a good day.